Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I just want to show a couple uh, mini swaps that we are um, doing over in the pantry. That's yourpaperpantry.ning.com. Anybody can join. We take all kinds of good people. Um, the I'm just finishing, <clears throat> excuse me, our October swap of all things. We had a couple of late pages and. Um, but I will say it's worth it. They're gorgeous and they're fun. Um, and I wanted to give a, I first wanted to thank, <coughs> excuse me, Melissa. I had to cheat and look. Um, for making these cute little cards. Aren't they cute little circles? How fun. Just a cute little note card. Uh, friend good Frankenstein. And then she included grommets. I didn't know if you wanted these on the pages, but... I bound the book with the bind it all. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll save these for the next round. Um, pardon me, of my allergies, of course, are going crazy. <clears throat> so, here is the Pirate's Life for Me October. And we had two groups, so there's still another one coming out. But this is my page, it's the cover. Fake Hat does the, oh, part of my nails. Alcoholic. Fake Cat does the charms for the book, and she just did that on her own, and I, she does such a cute job. I really appreciate it. It's so fun to add that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's my page. This is just a, a pirate girl I found online from the 50s or probably 60s. And then these are, this is like a little ribbon of skulls that I found at Joann's. And um, one of the Sizzix frames. And then I stamped it. I have a paisley stamp. I stamped it with paisley and embossed the white so it looks like one of those handkerchiefs. And just a fun little um, pirate hat. Again at Joann's. Some I made because I ran out. And then a fun little... I cut one of the skulls off and used it as an earring. And then the back of my page is the scary pirate going arg. I found these stamps. They're seven gypsies. I love them. And what I did was I embossed the paper. This is Tim Holtz paper. <coughs> Excuse me. I embossed it. This actually is um, Delight. I don't know what it is. I can't remember the paper. But I embossed it with the swirly, and then when I stamped it, it looks really cool and swirly. So this is a treasure map with all our swappers. And then, okay, so I did my page this way because I had, I wanted to hang the, I had to have this girl. But everybody else did it this way, which was the right way to do it. <laughs> okay, so this one is, I got a cheat, Melissa Falcon. And she did a really cool, I think this is the um, paper bag technique. <clears throat> a craft paper. Really cool, and a boat, a Hawaii mate. And she's got a really great treasure map and a little treasure trunk, treasure chest with a little scroll. But mine cracked. Um, the weather in Minnesota is cold, and some things I get, <coughs> excuse me, they don't fare well. And a um, couple, this one cracked, and then some glue on one of the other pages um, isn't working. Um, so this page is. Um, <coughs> Lindley King, and she did a really cute cardboard little treasure chest and map. With X marks the spot, she glossy accent. Really cute little treasure chest. And then she did some fancy coins and chain coming out. A little lock. Isn't that cute? And on the back, she's got the ocean with the ship and really. Really cute cutout. That must be a cricket cut. Very cute with the skull. <clears throat> Here's Tina Lenz. I love the dangly coins. That is so cool. That's kind of like the tape I had, or the ribbon I had, but really cool. Really nice little wooden ship, and I, I'm guessing she painted that. Or else it came painted, but either way, it's pretty with the map. <coughs> How cute is that? Now that she painted the scar the um, the flag and the skull. Isn't that cool? And then she put some stickle on it. Really, really cute, Tina. 
Isn't that fun? <coughs> and this is Eileen. And her, this is the one where um, the glue, because it's so, it was freezing here the day that it came, the glue just kind of, but everybody can re-glue it. I didn't take the time to do that because um, I was just swamped with another book and everything and I wanted to get these out. And this is Eileen Malus and she's got Johnny Depp photos that go in here. Abandon all hope ye who enter here. <clears throat> and how cool. I love how she used, these are just those little strips of um, bling you can get, you know, the pearls. I love how she did that with the treasure chest. That is really a cool, really cool, Eileen. Then she's got the scrolled up, rolled up scroll, and a little skull and Johnny Depp. And what's really cool is she made this look like one of those old-fashioned photo or autograph book and where you can put photos. Isn't that cool? I love this. I love it. And it looks like seven gyps, or um, graphic 45 paper. <clears throat> okay, and this one is Lisa. Very cute. She's got a little bat and skull. Isn't that cute? The little red kerchiefs. And that's cool. <laughs> With the coins and another map. Really cute. I just love these. These really turned out fun. And this one is... Fake cats, <clears throat> and she's got a really cool compass. I don't know where you got that, Faye, but that's cool. And then another little charm. Some, and this is cute. She did a trifold, so we can put notes and notes about our treasure hunt and photos. And then the back, she has a treasure chest also. Really cute with some journaling area. Really nice, um, what kind of paper that? It looks like that technique that, uh, Lynn, no, who did it? The first one. Oh, yeah, Melissa. It looks kind of like the same technique. And then this is Monica Daniels. I love it. Very nice. And she's got a really cool map. And then she decoupaged this. It looks like she probably colored it with her Copics and then decoupaged it on. And same with the treasure chest and some bling. Really nice job, Monica. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then also, oops, that's one thing about these spiral books. And then there's the back of hers, another decoupage skull. Really nice. A pirate's life for me. So there's our books. And then Lisa included really cute um, fabric for tying up here. And then a little, this little lock and key. And then a skeleton, and I can't, my skeleton is not here. I don't remember where I, I have it. I can't, I put it somewhere down in my art layer and I can't find it now. So probably in my stash. But there's the Pirate's Life for me. And that was such a fun mini to do.